We had a, uh, we had a nice surprise for Coach Maneri when he arrived in St. Louis this weekend. His protege, Air Force coach Mike Kozlowski, came in from Colorado Springs to present the Musial Award to him. In, in 2011, Coach Kaz retired with the rank of Major after 20 years of service with the U.S. Air Force. He then took over the Air Force baseball program where he played for and was an assistant to Coach Maneri. So, another warm welcome for head coach Mike Kozlowski. <laughs> Joining Coach Kaz and representing the Positive Coaching Alliance is Jason Sachs, the organization's National Director of Business Development. And PCA joins us in saluting one of the model coaches in all of sports, Paul Maneri. Coach, come on over here. Congratulations. Thank you. Can I just ask you what this night means to you? Oh, it's pretty hard to put it into words, Mike, honestly. You know, uh, uh, to be honored for something that I don't feel like I really did anything special is, is very humbling. But I will say this, that uh, I'm very proud to receive this award, and I'm even more proud to have had the opportunity to coach at some wonderful institutions. Uh, I started out at a small school in Miami, St. Thomas University, went to the U.S. Air Force Academy as the first civilian coach, and then on to Notre Dame before I'm now at LSU. But my time at the Air Force Academy is so special to me because of the young people that I had the opportunity to coach, like this guy standing next to me. He should be the one that's getting the standing ovation, not me. Let's... <laughs> Let me... Let me ask you about that decision to have your players go over, and not just go over, go over in the middle of the game. What was behind that decision? Well, that was an easy thing to do, Mike, because uh, every year, not just this year, not just the previous year, but every year since I've been coaching at the Air Force Academy, I take one day a year to show our players videos about the young men and women that sacrifice and, and make our country what it is because of their service. And I teach them how to stand at attention for the national anthem and how to show respect for the flag. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mike, I want, I want, thank you. I want, our, I want our players to understand that when they look up there at that flag and they see the stars and stripes, that behind that flag are a bunch of families, men, women, that have gone out and sacrificed for our country so that we can enjoy the things that we get to enjoy every day, like playing baseball games in college. And that there's families that are left behind that when they send their loved ones away, they don't know if they're even going to be returning. I can't even imagine what those families go through. And so our players understand the significance of what uh, the flag stands for. They understand the sacrifice that these uh, members of our armed forces make and these cadets while they're in college are preparing to go out and serve our country and those sacrifices that they're going to make. So when I talk to our players about doing this to honor the cadets for Air Force and Army, believe me, they embraced it. And, and really, they're the ones that, again, that deserve the, uh, the acclaim because they stopped in the middle of the game, went over there and looked every one of those players in the eye and thanked them for their service. And, and so, Coach Kaz, can I ask you how your team reacted when this was happening? 
Well, this isn't anything new for Coach Maneri. Uh, we opened up at LSU in 2012, and he did the same thing for our kids, and uh, it's a win. Even before the game was even played, our kids felt that uh, they, their chest was out a little more and what they're doing with their lives and raising their hand and, and taking on this responsibility to uh, basically die for each and every one of us is a big deal. So for Paul to be able to have his team come over and shake our kids' hands, say thank you for your service and what you will be doing for us was a big deal to our kids and having an understanding that what they're doing for that four years of going through college, there's a purpose at the end of it because at the end of the day, 99% of Americans don't serve. And these special 1% are the ones that uh, really truly deserve that standing ovation. And, and I think, and I think Stan Musial, I think Stan Musial would be particularly proud of this award because he was a veteran. So thank you very much, very much. Appreciate really appreciate that. Thanks for being here and congratulations. Mm -hmm.